guys, it's Liz, and I'm back with another video and also experimental hair. I saw this stupid thing on Instagram that was like, okay, like you braid your hair, then you use hairspray, hairspray, let it dry, then take it out, and it's supposed to be curly. And I mean, I guess it is, but like, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Anyways, that's beside the point. Today, I wanted to film a video with, like, three, like, mini stories of, well, two of them are, like, I'm a fucking idiot, and then one of them is, like, a funny, kind of cute story, all from, like, my childhood, whenever I was a kid, like, one of these was before I was even in, like, before school age, and then the other two were while I was in elementary school, so it's just kind of, like, dumb things I did as a kid. I'm an idiot. Woo! Anyways, so two of them have to do with a microwave. Hence, hence, I still can't use a microwave properly. I'm just, no. I don't know. I do everything wrong. Like, I'm just like, oh, okay. The packaging says add water and put it in for 3.5 minutes. I press 3. I press 30. I press start. It still comes out wrong. Just no. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyways, so the first one that I'm going to talk about takes place I think I was in like the second or third grade and so I was in the second or third grade and at the time my mom had a friend that was living with us for a little while because she's kind of like a roommate with me and my mom once my dad had moved out when they split up and so basically so whenever I'd come home from school she would watch me because I can't like be home alone at elementary school age while well, my mom was at work. So my mom works in a hospital, so she works really weird hours sometimes, sometimes like pretty late into the night and stuff. So she wanted to, they're like, she didn't want me to like go to a daycare center because a daycare center, like she would get off before like a certain time. Anyways, that's beside the point. But basically, so my bus stop was like two houses over from my actual house. Um, whenever I was in elementary school, so one day I just got off the bus, you know, came home, did my thing. My mom's roommate was asleep, so I just didn't want to, like, mess with her, I didn't, you know, so I was just like, well, you know what, I'm really thirsty, and see, this, I used to take my lunch to school every day, and my mom would put Capri Suns in the freezer, that way they would kind of, like, melt and be cold by the time lunch came around, and no one likes to drink a freaking, um, warm capri sun like no thank you so it i remember it was lemonade flavor like that was like my favorite as a kid and everything and so basically what had happened was um was basically like i got home you know i did all that i wanted to drink and all we had was like and i looked in the pantry and i was like hmm there's warm capri sun but warm capri sun is nasty and i was like Ding, ding, ding. My mom put stuff in the microwave to warm it and melt it sometimes. I can do that. So I went into my freezer, pulled out a Capri Sun that was rock hard frozen, which if you didn't know, that entire like thing is like metal and you'll learn why this is important. So basically, you know, I was like, well, I probably shouldn't put the straw in the microwave. So I ripped off the little straw part and then I was just like, well, you know, this is frozen. Like it's going to take too long holding it under hot water. So, you know, I want it fast. I want it fast. Like I am dying of thirst. It was summer, like almost summer. And I just got home from school and I would just wanted something nice and to drink. And so it was rock hard frozen. So I just put it in the microwave. I don't even remember how long I put it in there. I think I just like put a little bit of time and press start. <sighs> You know the 4th of July fireworks that you see and you're like, wow, those are so pretty? I saw those in my microwave. <laughs> hmm. Now, I mean, it, I was standing right there next to the microwave. I didn't, like, walk off or anything. But, like, I saw that after, like, two seconds. I was like, nope, 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 open, no, 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 no. Like, what have I done? I was, like, I think I was in the third grade. So I didn't want to go and, like, wake up my mom's roommate. I didn't, like, want to do that, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to pretend like this never happened, like, I'm not going to tell my mom or anything, and so I just take the Capri Sun, and it's all, like, melted at the top, like, all messed up, and I'm like, oh no, my mom's going to notice if it's messed up, so I just, like, throw it away, put some other trash on top of it, like, that never happened, don't tell my mom, you know, I thought I, I, thought I would get away with it, you know, like, I'm just a fucking idiot elementary school kid, and turns out that, like, the weird loud popping noise that happened woke up my mom's roommate. She came downstairs, asked me what was going on, and I said nothing. And then she looked in the trash can, saw the Capri Sun. I got in trouble. I learned not to put Capri Sun in the microwave. You would think I would know that, but no, I didn't. 
Now, since we're on the trendy topic of not knowing how to use a microwave, <laughs> I have another Liz doesn't know how to use a microwave story. So basically, my neighborhood that I used to live in would like every year have like this one weekend where it's like everyone who wants to have a garage sale would sell it and people from all over the city would come and like, you know, go to these garage sales. There'd be really good deals. You could find really good stuff if you looked around. And so I had a friend at the time. Um, I'm not going to say her real name because I don't talk to her anymore and I don't know if she'll feel comfortable with me saying her real name in a video, but I'm going to use another name. I'm going to use Ella. That's okay. We're just going to say Ella. Actually, that's a girl that goes to my school. Um, not the girl that goes to my school. Just some uh, someone else who I'm, use, I'm using the name Ella, not the Ella that goes to my school because I know some people from my school watch these videos. Anyways, <laughs> so me and Ella were like hanging out at her house that weekend and her mom and her grandma were like doing the garage sale outside. But it was like, I think like May whenever this happened so it was hot like I did not want to sit outside so I'm with my friend Ella and so we're inside her house and it's kind of cool because we're like oh yeah we're grown-ups we get to be by ourselves, you know like because we're in elementary school I think I was in fourth grade so it was like oh I'm an adult I get to be by, by myself but you know of course like I could have literally just opened the front door and been like yo uh we did some shit <laughs> but like yeah but so I was kind of hungry and she was hungry too. And she was like, well, like my mom ordered pizza and wings last night. Like, do you want some of that? And I was like, hell yeah, pizza and wings sounds bomb as fuck. Like, let's make this shit. And so we go into our microwave and she had like the little cardboard box that was like about this big, like, you know, just a decent sized box. She's like, oh, the wings are in here. And she's like, since they've been in the fridge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat them up in the microwave, okay? We didn't know at the time that there was like, you know, the wings were wrapped in aluminum foil and we didn't think to check because we we're just like oh you know it's just a it's a paper box it'll be fine and so we throw it in there and we go into the other room and we don't really like we're like okay we'll come back and check it in a minute we go into her bedroom and we're like playing and everything and i'm like hey what about our wings like after a few like after a little bit and she's like oh yeah let's go check on those Good thing we checked when we did because her microwave was on fire. And of course, you know, me being the good elementary school Girl Scout that I was, I was like, wait, we should pour water on it. And then she's like, yeah, 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 let's put water. So we're pouring water on it, like in the microwave. No, we, and we're just like, and, and I'm just like, we're going to get in trouble if we tell your mom. She's like, yeah, I know. Like, what do we do? And so I'm just like, you know what, we should probably tell your mom that way, like, the house doesn't burn down and we get in bigger trouble. And so we go out there and her mom's just literally like, Ella, I told you before your friend came over to ask me if you wanted food so I could cook it for you. Why don't you listen to me? She got chewed out and I'm just standing there like, uh, hey, what's up? And that was really like, yeah. So that was that. We got in a little bit of trouble and stuff. Like, she got in trouble. I, like, got in a, like, I didn't get, like, in trouble. But, you know, like, she told my mom. My mom's just like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then, yeah. So, those are my two I don't know how to use microwave stories. But I have one more cute little story. This isn't, like, I'm a fucking idiot story. This is just a cute little story that it's, like, just something cute to say. So basically, my dad used to be a mortician whenever I was a kid. So growing up, I don't even remember this happening, but my dad told me about this and I thought it was like really cute and funny and wanted to like tell you guys this. So basically one day, um, I was like four or five and it was like bring your kid to work there or whatever at my school. So it was like a student holiday and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go with you, you to work with to my dad's work my dad worked at a funeral home he was an embalmer and a mortician so if you don't know what that is that's basically he prepared the bodies to be put in the casket for the funeral and then sometimes would help and would help with the funeral and things like that so he's the one who was preparing the bodies at this one particular job and this is a cemetery that's really close to my house you know that's i i've been there a thou i would had been there a thousand times and never really like you know, it was just like, I knew what was up. I, it, the bodies didn't scare me or anything. I was just like, they're sleeping, bruh. Gotta put them in that nice fancy bed. <laughs> but anyways, so one day my dad was preparing a body. He was putting it into the casket and 
I noticed he didn't have shoes. And I'm like, Dad, why? where are his shoes? And then so my dad's like, well, you know, he's not going to be walking anywhere anytime soon. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And so, like, we that was just, that was one day. We went on with it. Um, I'd come back another time, and this lady was bringing, like, the clothes to put on the people to put them in the casket. And they had a pair of shoes. And so the lady's carrying, like, a, like, like, nice suit and slacks and a pair of shoes in her hand. And she's, like, going to give it to my dad. And I'm just like, why does she, why, like, why did they bring the shoes? And then she's just like, well, like, that's what the family wanted them. The family wanted him to be wearing shoes. And I, I kid you not, being, like, four, maybe five, was like, he's not going to be walking anywhere. What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. I just. My dad told me the story one day, and I thought it was, like, so cute and so funny, like, little me. Like, <laughs> I thought it was really funny. But, yeah, so that's all the stories I have for you today. And, yeah, so, as always, like, comment, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe. I don't care. Just, you know, I love seeing your support. Um, I saw that some of y'all that subbed, like, liked me on Twitter. I see you. I see you, fam. But for those of you who have not liked me on Twitter, my Twitter is LizNi21. And my Instagram now is LizNi21. And my Snapchat is Goodbye Baby Girl. I'll put all of the correct spellings and stuff down there in the description for y'all. So check out my other videos. Check out me on my other social media. I usually act like an idiot and do really funny, stupid stuff on social media because... I'm Liz. Um, yeah. So, guys, until next time, I love you so, so much. And I will see you guys later. Bye.